Hey, hello friends. This is Prachit from Prachit Geeks, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we will discuss about how we can roll back any Oxygen OS version to the previous version. I have a OnePlus 5 device with me, and four or five days back, I have converted or updated this device to the new Oxygen OS version 4.5.10. But after that update, I don't found anything good stable on my device. The battery life has been gone worse, the camera stability has been worse, and the stability system stability is not working fine, and the uh, smart lock is also not working fine. So I thought there is some issue with this uh, update, at least on my device. The camera videos are coming very shaky, the EIS is not working, the battery life has been gone down. Previously I was getting around 9.5 hours of battery life with 36 hours of battery of the charger. But now I am getting only around uh, 7 to 7.5 hours of battery life with that to only 23 to 24 hours of battery life of the charger. So definitely there is some issue with this uh, update on my device. So I have decided to roll back this version to the 4.5.8 which was more stable version. So I have made this tutorial to let you know how you can roll back the version without data loss in just simple 15 to 20 minutes of uh, process. So guys stay tuned and watch this video so that you can roll back your device to the 4.5.8. So guys, this is my OnePlus 5 device and I will show you my version on the settings. Let me go to the settings, about phone. You can see the Oxygen OS 4.5.10. And now I will roll back this version to the 4.5.8. I have downloaded the full ROM of the Oxygen OS from the OnePlus sites. Then I will go to the file manager and I will show you that ROM. You can see this ROM OnePlus 5 Oxygen OS 4.5.8. It is a 1.5 GB of ROM. This is from the official OnePlus website. Once you download this ROM, you will need to boot your device into recovery mode. So reboot your device into recovery mode. Let me enter the password here. Let's choose English. And you will find different options over here. Install from internal storage, install from ADB, wipe data and cache, advance and exit. You can install it either from ADB or from the internal storage. Since we have downloaded the complete run in the internal, internal storage, we will go to the internal storage. Then we will go to the download folder where that ROM is present. And you can notice here the first file is the ROM itself. It is a OnePlus 5 Oxygen OS 4.5.8.zip. This is a ROM which we have downloaded from the OnePlus 5 website. So let's choose this option. And it will ask whether we can install the package or not. Hit yes. And now it is installing the package that is it is rolling back our new version 4.5.10 to the old version 4.5.8. It will take some time to complete the rollback process. After 5 minutes I found this message that install success and it asked me to reboot the device. So let's see, reboot the device. Since this is the first reboot after the OS install, it will take around 4 to 5 minutes to complete the reboot process. After around 5 minutes, the reboot is completed. Let me enter the password over here. I entered the password and now device is getting a reboot complete message. You can see here, it is saying finishing Android update. Let's wait to finish it. And it's completed. So let's go to the settings now. About phone. And you can see my Oxygen OS version is 4.5.8. 
so that means we have successfully revert back to the oxygen was 4.5.8 from 4.5.10 now we need to perform some things to get our divide to, to get our device very stable so first we will clear out any junk files from there this is the standard practice we follow after every update i am cleaning down this junk files once you clean the junk files go to the settings and storage option and clear out the cache data from here you will find some cache data i found 2 not 2 mb of cache data so let's clear it from here now it will show 0 mb of cache data you can see over here the first part it completed we will clean all the application running on the background then we will again reboot our phone into recovery mode let me enter the password over here go to the english wipe data and cache and wipe cache hit yes it will wipe the cache from the system and reboot it will make sure that it will not hamper any the stab system stability or the battery life of your device due to the rollback of the oxygen os 4.5.8 this reboot will complete in just few seconds let me enter the password here and it's done in just 10 minutes we have roll back our device to the 4.5.8 go to the system update and you can see it's 4.5.8 so guys thank you for watching this video stay tuned we will meet you in the next video thank you